Imagine a machine so powerful, so agile, that it has dominated the skies for decades, striking fear into the hearts of its adversaries. A marvel of engineering, a symbol of military might, yet shrouded in controversy and debate. This is the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the jet fighter that has become synonymous with aerial supremacy. But is it truly the ultimate predator of the skies, or just an overrated relic of the past? Stay with us as we unravel the mystery of the F-16, revealing the shocking truths and the hidden facts that will make you question everything you thought you knew about this iconic warbird. From the deserts of the Middle East to the icy peaks of the Himalayas, the F-16 has seen action across every theater of war, proving it's worth time and time again. But with the rise of fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 and the Sukhoi Su-57, many are asking, is the F-16 still relevant? Can this 1970s-era jet compete in a world where stealth, advanced radar, and artificial intelligence are the new standards of aerial combat? And if it can't, why do so many countries still swear by it, pouring billions into upgrades and new variants? Could it be that the F-16's true power lies not in its technology, but in something far more complex and controversial? Critics argue that the F-16 is an outdated platform, vulnerable to modern surface-to-air missiles and outclassed by newer fighter jets. They point to its lack of stealth capabilities, its aging airframe, and the ever-growing list of maintenance issues. But defenders of the F-16 counter with a different narrative, one that paints a picture of a jet that has evolved, adapted, and remained indispensable to air forces around the world. So, who's right? Is the F-16 a dinosaur clinging to life, or is it the unchallenged apex predator of the skies? Some say the F-16's real strength lies in its versatility, a multi-role fighter that can perform air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions with equal efficiency. Others believe it's the pilot's jet, a machine that turns skill and experience into an unbeatable advantage. But there's another, more controversial argument, that the F-16's continued dominance isn't about its performance, but about politics and profit. Defense contractors and governments have a vested interest in keeping the F-16 flying, reaping billions from maintenance contracts, upgrades, and new production lines. Is the F-16's legacy one of military brilliance, or is it a product of the military-industrial complex at work? To understand the true legacy of the F-16, we need to look beyond the battlefield and into the corridors of power. The story of the F-16 is also the story of America's role in the world, its alliances, its conflicts, and its defense strategy. It's a story of how a single fighter jet became a symbol of American military might, influencing global geopolitics and shaping the future of warfare. But as we stand on the brink of a new era in aerial combat, with drones, AI, and hypersonic weapons on the horizon, the question remains, will the F-16 continue to dominate the skies, or will it finally be eclipsed by the next generation of war machines? The F-16 has been called many things, a game-changer, a workhorse, a relic, a masterpiece. But what if it's all of these, and none? What if the real story of the F-16 is not about the jet itself, but about the people who fly it, maintain it, and use it to project power? What if the F-16's greatest asset isn't its speed, its agility, or its firepower, but its ability to adapt, to change with the times, to meet new challenges, to survive when others have been left behind? As we look to the future, one thing is certain, the F-16 isn't done making history. So, is the F-16 the ultimate predator of the skies? Or is it something more, an enduring symbol of human ingenuity, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of air superiority? The answer, perhaps, lies not in the machine, but in the mission. And as long as there are skies to conquer, the F-16 will be there, a reminder that in the ever-changing world of aerial warfare, some legends never die. What do you think? Is the F-16 still the king of the skies, or has its time passed? Join the debate in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world of military aviation.